Should we talk about sex now? Well, there's a song. Let's talk about sex, baby. baby let's talk about you and me. Let's but, uh, about... yeah, how much should we talk about it? That's the big talking point this morning. Concerns over sex education lessons in schools are rising once again. This is uh, after No one Christian has ever talked father. to me about sex. Oh, bless you. Oh, but it's true. I don't want to ask how you knew what to do. Well, I'm sort of just natural. Yeah, it? OK. Well, a um, Christian father removed his nine-year-old daughter from school after she was taught about boys having wet dreams, uh, erections what is he, and what is that other even? male things. Well, you see, I was from a family of all boys. Mm -hmm. My mother, there was just no talk about anything. Well, that's how it was in the Dark Ages. Well, yeah, but, but then it leaves you with that thing. It leaves me that I would be uh, hesitant of talking about those things. And there's a difference between what you've got to mechanically know and what you morally mm. should know. Well, parent Michael Doherty was finally allowed to see the materials after weeks of battling with the primary school to get access. So we're asking if it's acceptable for children to be shown material without the permission of the parents. Well, Doherty's, Doherty's case is very interesting. He's, he's religious. He found it strange. He just said, well, you're teaching my daughter who's nine, uh, sex education, what are you teaching her? Then it, she, he wasn't allowed to pull out, pardon the phrase, um, uh, for, from the education lessons. She had to do them, they said. And then they showed him what she was being taught. And he just thought, no way, Jose. Mm. Anyway, let's, uh, let's talk about all of this one. Uh, sex therapist Emiliana Silvestri says sex education is as important as anything else on the curriculum, like maths and English. But columnist at the Catholic Universe Weekly, Caroline Farrell, says that schools are there to educate children, not to indoctrinate them. So we welcome you both. A very good morning to you. Emiliana, you think, I suppose, then, this is a bit like biology, just understanding the mechanics of the body? Well, there's so much more to it. I mean, I take, I'm a sex therapist for a living and I work with adults that are so confused about sex. They couldn't possibly explain it to their children. They don't understand sex themselves. I'd like to ask the woman I'm on with today if she could even tell me about men's sex hormones, testosterone, and if we think that parents should be teaching this, I'm not sure that's a wise idea because we have an epidemic of people very confused and embarrassed about talking about one of the most beautiful subjects that we have to talk about, the reason we're all here. And schools need to be teaching this so that children can grow up with a healthy understanding of sex mm. and know about boundaries and how their bodies work. It's science, it's biology, and it's beautiful subjects. Well, Emiliana, it's very interesting talking to you because you have to deal with it um, at the adult end of things, people's knowledge. Yeah, I or... work with young people too. Yeah, yeah, but I suppose what you're talking about there is things that people didn't gather or glean early on in their lives and uh, you, the you're thing is, to... yeah, And the thing is, Eamon, is that now children are turning to the internet to learn about sex, which is far more damaging than if the education system sets up an appropriate cur curriculum to teach us all properly, rather than young people turning to the internet and getting all sorts of terrible messages about sex, not understanding anything about the body. It's far wiser yeah. that we as a society create this in our education system. But and Car Caroline, I suppose the question is how young is too young? Well, there's so much to take issue with. Um, firstly, I'm all for people talking about sex, but we need to empower parents uh, to be able to talk about it with their children. You know, every single uh, family is going to have a, a different set of values, and it's really important that families feel empowered that they can talk about this with their own children because families know their own children best they know when children are ready for certain bits of information and in fact the story that we saw at the weekend was particularly damaging because as a parent if your school says to you right okay we're just going to be talking to your children about puberty about the changes that they go through then you of course would say yes that's fine and then you learn precisely what it is they've been teaching very very young children so yeah Yes, parents should be allowed to see exactly what is on the curriculum and should be allowed to withdraw their children if necessary. And it's not just, of course, we understand that primary school children, we understand that girls are having their periods age 10 and we need children to be given, you know, the pertinent information that's age appropriate. But actually what is happening is that children are being taught about niche uh, sexual practices, things like choking, BDSM. Uh, they're being taught things that are designed to sort of sexualize them and they're being taught gender theory in school as well so this idea that you know 
Caroline, they're not, oh dear, they're not being taught this stuff so that they can Excuse get me. into it. They're being taught this stuff because it's all over the internet. No, and if they are no. taught it, Excuse they can then be taught Excuse boundaries me. and they don't have Excuse to do me. that stuff. Excuse me, I have five children. I'm very well aware okay, of what Caroline, children are being If you have five children, no, no, tell me, tell me. me. Let Caroline Thank just finish her point first and we'll come back to you, Miliana. Okay. It, it, you know, this this is crazy to, to say it's, re, you know, as, as Eamon said, he didn't have formal sex education in schools. Um, you know, children have so much on the curriculum, you know, and we know that since lockdown, we've had um, literacy rates falling. We've had numeracy rates falling. Actually, yes, children should be taught the basics in sex, in, in sex education, but they shouldn't actually be taught these niche sexual practices. OK, you Indiana? know, and, and Thank you, Isabel. They're not being taught these niche sexual practices. The problem, we Caroline, know is that, that they are. Was... There is report after report oh, okay. that they are. That children are being taught things like how they should be washing after sex when they're 11. Okay. They're being taught things about choking. They're being told to research pornography on the internet. Parent Caroline. after parent Caroline. is doing this. Okay. Let's let Emiliana have her say. Caroline, can you tell me how often a man produces testosterone? If you've got five children and you think we should teach them about sex, can you tell me how often a man produces testosterone? I suspect it's every day, but that's irrelevant. Every 15 that's minutes. Completely can you tell irrelevant. me how often you as a woman does, produces does, testosterone in a sex really, hormone? It's just a biological fact. That is nothing to do with what children are being taught and parents are being shut out of what their children are taught. You can't tell taught. me about no, the, you can't tell about the male woman, and female sex hormone. Why does a young girl need to kids? know how often a man produces testosterone? I mean, fine, that's just a fact. And nobody would object no, to that basic hormone. fact being taught. But that's not what is happening in schools. Caroline, and this is why yeah. parent after parent are coming back with, oh, my goodness, look what they are teaching my young child. Yeah, you know, right. I totally agree, agree with you, Caroline, that the, the, the system needs to create an appropriate subject matter for this. I appreciate that what they might currently have isn't good enough, but it's absolutely, if we rely on parents, when you're a parent of five children, you can't tell me anything about sex hormones or when we create testosterone, when a man does, this is vital. For goodness sake, me knowing a and fact about sex hormones has nothing to do with talking to my child or to my children about appropriate yes. sex and Can relationships. I ask a question? You know, Can I that's ask? crazy. Yeah. You know, and actually, if you don't think that parents know enough, then you should be empowering parents to have these conversations with their children yes, instead of saying to I'm parents, doing. you're so useless, you're not good enough, leave it to the professionals oh, who want to completely sexualize your children. That's just not good enough, Amelia. Stop trying to patronize me and empower parents. Okay, can I ask you, Caroline, just on the specific case, because we're talking about nine-year-old children, and Emiliana, in this instance, it wasn't about choking or any of those things. It was specifically um, about um, erections and, and wet dreams and the like. Would you have a problem with your nine-year-old daughter um, being taught that? And can I ask you, Caroline, if you were to separate and segregate the sexes, could that be a workaround? Because I can understand the argument that actually boys need to know what's going on. That could be quite no, upsetting. Absolutely. And, and that was an argument I was going to make. So, um, yes, I think this shows how Sex education is more effective uh, if if the sexes are segregated. I know girls particularly feel uncomfortable uh, being in with boys. Every single child I know who starts sex ed in schools just says it's cringeworthy, it's embarrassing, we don't like it. Um, and certainly, yes, I would have a problem with my nine-year-old daughter uh, being taught this about boys. It's wholly inappropriate. I'd much rather that she learned about what was going to happen to her own body. And of course, I have a son as well. I have a, an eight-year-old old son i wouldn't mind him learning about this but at an age when it's when it's age appropriate to do so so that children learn that there's nothing wrong with their bodies that you know this is how their bodies are supposed to work i'm not about you know inducing shame but actually a nine-year-old girl doesn't need to know uh what boys who are having erections and wet dreams they don't need to know about okay. that until much much older I uh, just really quickly want to let Emiliana have a final say. This email came in from Lynette. My grandson was sent home from school last week because he passed out during a sex ed lesson which showed a video of female genital mutilation. He's 11 years old. It's outrageous that schools are showing this to such young children. I'm appalled and angry. What would you say to that? 
like I said, I'm really passionately believe that the education system needs an overhaul when it comes to this subject. But I also believe it's imperative that we're teaching it. I think one of the reasons children aren't prepared is because parents don't feel comfortable teaching this and we don't have the knowledge. I'm teaching adults all day about sex. The quality of our relationships determines the quality of our life. And if we can teach all of us in a beautiful and healthy way about sex and it not be an embarrassing topic, we can change society when it comes to this subject and children okay. don't need to turn to the internet and find far darker materials to so teach them an unhealthy way. Emilia and Caroline, we've got to leave it there. We're out of time. Thank you both very much indeed. Thank you.